Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another chit chatty video. This one is called Why Is It So Easy for Channels to Go on No Buys? Now, I know a lot of people are doing No Buy July, which was started by LS here on YouTube. She is a wonderful channel. I love her. Her, her videos are very inspiring and she has such good ideas. So I think it's really great that she kind of did like this call to the beauty community and was like, you know what, let's do No Buy July, which I think is great. So anyway, I kind of, well, oh my gosh, my cats are like trying to kill each other. Hey, Maury. Okay, so yeah, I basically wanted to talk about why it's easy for some channels to go on No Buys because I've attempted to go on No Buys a few times and you guys can definitely point a finger at me. I'm not the greatest at going on No Buys. I have way too much makeup. Like, we already know all of this. I'm like an avid collector of eyeshadow palettes. So I totally get it. But I do feel like there are some reasons it's easier for other channels to go on No Buys. And I think it's good that they try to preach No Buys, but I think it's... I don't know, I feel like some channels do take it for granted that they do get a ton of PR and it does make it easier for them not to buy makeup because sometimes like YouTubers will come on there, even smaller channels, and they're like, oh, I only spent like $100 on makeup this month. And I'm like, but you already have like all the new stuff because companies are sending it to you. So I think it's really cool that, you know, people try to do no buys, low buys and things like that. And they don't like encourage their subscribers to buy everything. But it also sucks because as a smaller YouTuber, you're like, oh, but I want it, it's so pretty. And so I think there are some reasons why it's easier for some channels to go on no buys versus others. So I wrote them down. The first one, like I said, is they do get PR. So even if you have a smaller channel, say like 50k or under, and you're getting PR, it makes it easier for you not to shop because you don't have to worry about the latest releases. And that's where I think like YouTube is kind of a sick cycle because to get like noticed on YouTube, it does feel like you have to kind of like be up on all the latest product. And then once you get big, you get free products, so then you don't have to worry about spending it. So it's like, you know how they say it like takes money to make money? I feel like YouTube is definitely a good example of that because you kind of have to like initially spend so much on like your equipment. Hey! Oh my god. Teddy, come here. Leave her alone. <laughs> Sephora! Sephora! Hey! Sephora! Oh my god, these cats. So yeah, I feel like you definitely have to spend money to make money and you have to invest in like your lighting and your cameras and then the product and stuff like that. So that's one reason I have a hard time going on no buys or low buys is because I do like to keep up with, you know, new palettes and stuff like that. And I think it makes it easier for other channels to go on no buys because they do get PR. So let me know what you think about that. The other reason I think it's easy for some channels to go on no buys is because they actually get friends and family like giving them gifts or it's like their birthdays and they get like Sephora gift cards or they have sisters or moms that buy makeup that they don't like that they then pass on to their kids. Now you guys know I'm an only child and my mom lives on the other side of the world and my mother-in-law doesn't live here so like I don't really have like any like makeup loving buying friends that like just hand me free makeup all the time either so yeah that's another reason I think it's hard for me to go on a no buy because I don't have like people gifting me makeup also like my husband will buy me makeup every once in a while like he definitely did more when we first started dating but now he just knows like if I want something I'll buy something for myself so yeah, that's another reason I think it's easy for channels to go on no buys. Uh, another reason I think it's hard for me to go on a no buy, I wrote, these are my notes that I wrote, wrote down. I said, I might have a shopping addiction. <laughs> so this is true. I, I do have a makeup addiction. I've already talked about it. You know, Lauren May and Beauty made that video um, about makeup addiction and how, you know, people are so obsessed with buying makeup. Anyway, um, have I gotten better? No, absolutely not. But... My problem with my makeup buying is that I don't have time. I buy all this makeup and then I don't make time to play with it and appreciate it. So I don't know, this weekend I had a little bit more time. So what I did is pull all my palettes out of the drawers. Just keeping them in the drawers was a bad idea because I don't see them. Now I have them on a table just like laid out and I'm going to do like these intense like collection videos where I show you like my ColourPop collection and then I'm going to show you my colorful eyeshadow palettes and I'm going to do like all these collection videos just to kind of give you guys an idea of what I have. So I 
don't know how that ties into like me not doing being able to do a no buy but yeah just having that shopping problem I you know love buying the latest palettes I definitely get a high from getting the next palette and these are all things that someday I want to work on but you know what some people drink I like eyeshadow palettes so sue me you know I could be out there doing worse things <laughs> with my time so that's another reason I can't go on no buys and then the last reason and this is my controversy allegedly is that I think sometimes people just do it for the views I think that there is a huge declutter no buy low buy trend on YouTube right now those channels are really big if you think of like Lucia who like skyrocketed Lauren May Beauty there's a lot of channels that have made it big being on that like buying less makeup using what you have loving your collection flashback Fridays etc etc so I do think there's a trend and I can see it happening people doing it for the views I know some people buy more makeup than they show on their channel because they don't want to disappoint their viewers so yeah I don't know this is my thought process on why it's easier for some channels to go on no buys versus like me but let me know you guys thoughts I'm sorry if this is kind of all over the place it wasn't meant to be like a long video sometimes I just want to ask you guys what your opinions are so let me know what you think is it easy for you guys to go on no buys or low buys I definitely struggle with them all the time what do you think are some reasons that make it easier for you to go on no buys other than not having any money because you know that's the thing too sometimes you just spend everything and it's like mm, yeah no I literally can't buy anything else until my next paycheck so let me know your thoughts I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video bye guys